Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a purge command. If you don't know what these folders and files are, this is called a command header. You can find a video linked down in the description below. Alright, for the purge command, we're going to filter out messages within 14 days. So we need a npm package to do this. If you haven't installed ms already, quickly install that. You can do that by doing npm i ms. So now I have my purge command in slash command slash utils. Alright, so I'm just going to put this at a side so you can see this file clearly. All right, so we're going to start off by creating the command. So module exports name will be perch. Description will be remove messages. And then uh, we can add a user permissions. And then we can do manage messages. Next, we can have our options. So in our options, we want to specify how many messages that we want to delete. So we're just going to do name, amount, description, amount of that is going to be deleted. And then uh, we're going to have our type, which is going to be a type of integer, which is a number. And then it's going to be a required argument. Next, we're going to get our run function. So run async client interaction. All right, so we're going to get our uh, amount property. I mean, our amount argument. So we can do that by doing const amount equals to interaction dot options dot get uh, integer. And then we can pass in amount in here. Next, we're going to check if the amount is over 100. Next, we're going to check if the amount is over 100 because this card only allows us to delete. I mean, this card only allows us to bulk delete 100 messages at a time. So you just got to make that check real quick. So to do this, we're just going to do if amount is more than 100, we're just going to do interact return interaction, the follow up, and then we're going to have our content. Um, and then we can just do the maximum amount of messages you can delete is 100 messages. All right, we can do this. All right, so the next step you want to do is you want to fetch the messages. So you can do that by doing const messages equals to await interaction dot channel dot messages dot fetch limit will be amount plus one. So the reason that I'm doing plus one is because whenever we run the command, it's going to add another message. So this is going to be deleted as well. All right. So the next step is to filter out the messages, which is younger than 14 days. So to do that, we're going to import the MS module. Equals require, then we can get our MS in here. All right. So we can just call this filter equals to messages dot filter and then we can just do message message dot created timestamp and then uh oh we actually need to minus oh so date dot now minus msg dot created timestamp is less than 14 days so ms 14 days okay the reason that we're filtering out the messages is if we try to delete messages that is over 14 days, it's going to throw an error. Okay, once we filtered out the messages, we're going to delete the messages by doing await interaction dot channel dot bulk delete, and then we can just pass in filtered in here. All right, for the last step, we're just going to send a success message saying that we already delete the messages. So you can do that by doing interaction dot channel dot send and then we can pass in content deleted and then we can just do filter dot size uh, minus one because uh, we added one in here so that's the reason we're going to minus one and then we're just going to do messages so let's just test this out all right as you can see here i have 10 messages over in here so for this testing i'm just going to delete five messages so i can do that by doing slash purge amount will be five and it should delete five messages as here we 
the bot says deleted five messages, but apparently I made a typo in here. So don't make a typo, delete it. All right. So let's say you want this message to automatically disappear after some time. So you can do that by using the set timeout function. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So if you come back in here, uh, we can just do use a dot then. So dot then after the message is sent, we're going to get our message in here. All right. And then we're just going to do set timeout. And then we can do message or delete. So this is what we're going to execute. All right. And then next, uh, we're going to pass in a time. So we can just do MS and you can put whatever time you want. You can make it a uh, like a minute or in this case, I'm just going to make it five seconds. So it's going to automatically disappear after five seconds. So let me just save this. All right. So if I run the slash purge five command, it's going to delete five of these messages. And then it's going to send a success message, which will disappear after five seconds. So let's just test this out. And yeah, as you can see here, the message disappeared after five seconds. So yeah, that should conclude today's video on the purge command. If you have any questions or you have a video idea for the next video, feel free to join the Discord server. Links will be in the description. On that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.